send more, like all the questions they answered will make more and more sense as you're going forward. Um, yeah. 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 It's just like a network, a grid. Um, Everyone can see energy network. Like, they think all of us can see energy. Um, and I think that also works with what they were saying about start think, seeing things not from our human eyes, but going up from the, the co global and cosmic perspective. Um, because then you really do see the networks more. Um, so mandalas are just grids, networks. And when you think about it, like our chakras are not just glowing orbs in our body. They are areas where uh, different energetic lines, some physical, some non-physical, cross each other so much so that they set up a glow. But really a chakra is a mandala within itself because it's the crossing of a lot of grids. Um, all of us sitting together, we had energy, especially mm -hmm. when that whole like, who, who was it who asked about the multiplicity of, oh my God, that was amazing, that was amazing, I'm like, you know, as soon as you said that, like, I was like, going, oh, and they're like, get out of here, <laughs> but that created a mandala between all of us, that then, that prism that was in the middle, that was a chakra. That was of the mandala between us. You know, and this is not going to end. Every time there's energy touching, it doesn't stop unless you, um, as long as it's being fed on some level. So, um, like most of the mandalas that connect, like, say, the cat collective. Like, anyone here have cats? 
Okay. <laughs> or a dog. Yeah, straight up with it. Or dog. Okay. So if you practice animal communication with your animal, uh, then your animal will know that you can connect. Invite, ask them to invite you to go dream with them. What my cats will do, the dog not so much. He's like, eh, like he and I have other dreams. He likes to take me into past lives where we've known each other and relive adventures we had. But um, my cats will take me through the cat mandala. So all cats are connected. And they're connected to their higher selves, their souls, and to the cat collective that exists outside of physical. So like Donovan, the albino Maine Coon cat, he's like a 23 pound fuzzy cat with a mane. And he's all mine. He's all pink and white because he's albino with these weird eyes. Um, so we'll go to sleep and he'll say, come, come with me. And the next thing I know, we're like in Africa watching the lions. And sometimes he'll actually have us be lions with the lions and we're in the lion pride. And I'm like, this is crazy. They're like, don't tell them you're human. They're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm like, Donovan, you're a house cat. How do you know about lions? And he's like, because it's the cat collective. He said, now the house cats have their own collective. I like the different breeds of cats, like cats of this area, that area, have their own mini collective, their own mini mandala, but they're all connected. So um, so that's a, a mandala. Um, like what, what is that Keanu Reeves movie series? The Matrix. That's all mandala. Um, but if you think about it, like, so... We're each in a mandala or a, a tribe with our own higher self and all of our past lives, right? So I am the sum of me, my higher self, all my past and future lives and all the essence within me that has not gone to life and who has like spent time with other races or beings. And I'm connected with all of them. So I'm like my own walking mandala that's connected. Well, what if we knew each other in a past life? So our past lives have this connection. We're here now. We already got this connection. Okay. I mean, and what if we work together outside of life? And so, like, you know, we may be in the same soul family or different soul families, but we work in the same, you know, spirit office or something. <laughs> and you guys know each other in a past life. And, like, you know, like, there's all these connections. So if you really spend time looking at connections, you get to the point as you go outward, 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 where all existence is one chakra. So, I know, it's like the, what's that? <laughs> A good one. <laughs> and when you see where there's like avarice or hatred or whatever, that's like the same as like when they were saying, you know, look inside and see if there are blemishes like on a piece of fruit. So wherever you have people living in hate, those are like blemishes on the fruit. So if I'm me looking at a whole group of people who live in hate, i.e. like politicians in our country, like not all of them, obviously, we've got AOC, and, um, but uh, the ones who are like trying to, you know, like, oh, the gas companies pay me a lot of money to, like, put down solar power, you know, and there's, like, so much fear and hate there. If you go and, I'm, like, if I go up against that, I'm overwhelmed. What am I going to do? I'm just a girl. But if I go to the higher level, I've learned to see all reality as one chakra, and then I look at that, it's just the tiniest little essence of darkness. And from there, we can send a lot of love and, like, to it and it has an effect. Mm -hmm. So that's part of what she was talking about. And that goes also into who brought up multiplicity one? That was you, right? That, that also goes to there. Who brought up the black bear? That was you. <laughs> oh my God. The moment she said that, like I was hit with all these visions. Like very powerful. Very powerful. But like, yeah, I, I'm like, you know. It was amazing. 
But um, well, there's no need for you to like satisfy my overwhelming curiosity. Um, they they were saying use the power. This is a powerful animal totem for you. And <laughs> the black bear and the doggy can live in harmony. Yeah, no, that that's okay. The black bear will not eat the dog. <laughs> but they said part of it is like, you know, we're told the divine feminine is about nursing, but what about like who is the um the Indian goddess of destruction? Hmm? Yes, Kali. Mm -hmm. The black bear is very similar to Kali because it's all about manifestation. You have to destroy to grow. But like we're like, oh Kali, she's all about destruction. They're like, yeah, that's what men want you to think because they do not want women manifesting. Like, Kali is about tearing down the old so that the new can come forward. It, it, it's about like literally giving birth. That's Kali. And that's what the black bear is for you. So they said at the moment, you're a little overwhelmed because this black bear is like so potentially ferocious. But the ferocious is just part of it. Yeah, very powerful. Very powerful. Now, if you had a grizzly bear or a polar bear, that would be, or a Kodiak bear, that would be totally a different one. But they said once you get comfortable with the black bear energy, you can utilize all of them. Yeah. Yeah. They're like comfortable. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, don't be worried about, like, you can even say to the black bear, your ferociousness scares me. Show me, please, show me stuff that's not frightening so we can get to know each other. Yeah. Um, you can, what they say, invite your dog and the black bear to have a dream picnic with you. Because everyone has fun on a picnic. <laughs> yeah, a tea party picnic. As we all know about the teddy bear picnic, right, right. Okay, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, thank you all so much. This was amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Jackie.